name is Julie Fay Fan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own background paper using celery. So the first thing you're going to need is this is uh, the heart basically from a bunch of celery. I just literally this is the bottom part of it. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you just cut it off, and it ends up in this kind of cool flower shape. And then you're going to need some cardstock. I'm used just using a plain white smooth cardstock. And then I have a large paintbrush because I want to be able to cover the surface pretty quickly. I'm going to use two colors of paint because I'm making a nice summery thing. I am using this is altered orange and this is called yellow pastel and they're both from the Claudine Helmuth Studio Paints. They're acrylic paints basically. Uh, I also have a jar of water and I'm working on a Teflon sheet and it's that easy. So let's go ahead and do it. What you want to do is you want to take your brush, dip it in your paint, and you want to put on a pretty thin coat onto your celery. If it's too thick, it'll get the image will get all mushed around. So it's nicer to have a little bit of a thin coat. You want to use a pretty dry brush. In fact, it's nice to just leave your celery out um, and let it dry out a little because you don't want there to be too much moisture. So now I've just flipped this over and I'm stamping with it. And you can see the image is starting to come up. And I can again, I can probably stamp two or three times with this much paint on it. Okay. And it's starting to look like a rose, very pretty. So then I would add another thin coat of paint right on here. And again, stamp. And look how many times you can go before you have to repaint. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and then I would let this dry. But I happen to have one here. Oops, that is already dry. And then I'm gonna switch to a different color, and now I'm gonna be using the yellow. I'm just gonna wipe off my brush, pardon me for a second. It's still a dry brush, I'm dipping it in. And I'm putting that yellow color, a pretty thin coat, right on top of there. Maybe a little bit more. This might get a little bit goopy. I think I've got a little extra paint on there, but it'll be an interesting look. And then I'm stamping. Nice. And stamping, 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 stamping. Here you go, maybe a little bit more. You can just keep going until you've covered the entire sheet with this cool floral celery shape. And when you're done, hopefully it'll look a little something like this. An easy to make floral paper. Mm -hmm.